Hello again, and in this video we're going to go back to Lightroom. We're going to have a look at processing again, and this time we're going to look at that spot removal tool, which is actually a really powerful tool. It has its limitations, but it is quite good at getting rid of really simple spots and blemishes and marks in Lightroom. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So let's go on the computer and get going. So here we have... Um, an image, uh, we're going to use this one here I think, and this is uh, Danielle, we photographed her uh, a few weeks ago at a studio down the road, and uh, we're just going to have a look, uh, we're just going to go into the develop module first, uh, so we're into develop, and the thing we're going to try and get rid of is there's a little mark on her face, if we just zoom in, just, just in this area here, um, just a little, uh, little blemish there, so we're going to try and get rid of that quickly and easily here in Lightroom. And the tool we're going to use is this circle mark, this circle tool here that says spot removal. And uh, if we click that, we get a little panel pop up. And if I just move my mouse into a little dark space there, you can see that um, the, the, the mouse has changed now and it's a circle with another circle inside it and a little cross right in the middle. And uh, if I roll the wheel on my mouse, it gets smaller and larger. And as we do that, you'll notice that the size there, I'll just go back and again, and keep your eye on the size in that panel, is changing as well. So we can change the size of, um, let's just move that across a little bit and into there, because it tends to put it just there when you're doing it. So there you go, it's just on the left. So we can change the size of that, not really quite large, really quite small. Um, now that inside ring that we can see, that's the feather. So the outside ring is where the, where the actual um, uh, spot removal is going to finish. And the inside ring is where the feather is going to start. So obviously between the two, those two outer rings, what you're going to get is a general, a general um, graduation into, back into the normal image. And if we move that, you'll see that the, if we make that bigger, it gets very much a, a very hard edge. And if we move to the right, it goes into a very, very soft, um, spot removal. We're going to leave it for this image. We're going to leave it round right about, round right about there. I think um, the final thing there is uh, is opacity, and um, obviously at one hundred percent, it's not going to show anything um, from the original image below, and uh, and at zero at the other end, it's going to show everything that's at the zero below. In fact, there's no point doing it. Um, but we'll, we'll have a look at that in a moment. So I'm just going to put it up to up to hundred. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find that little blemish on her face there. And we're just going to make my mouse a little bit smaller. I'm going to put a bit more feather on there, actually. There we go. And I'm just going to click. And what Lightroom's done, it's shot off up to the top somewhere. There we go. And uh, it's found another area that it thinks is very similar to that area. I'm going to disagree with it. I'm going to grab all of that second ball. I'm going to move it down. I'm going to move it down to there. Because that's possibly a... A more, um, a more similar area. Now, if we just go back to this opacity, if I just move this opacity down, just keep your eye on the bottom, on the bottom ring, and as I move it down, you'll start to see that blemish come back and go away. So obviously we want that to go away. We're using here the heal tool. We could clone that, we could just clone another area in, but actually heal kind of looks at the area and tries to match it and takes out all the, all the differences between the two areas. Um, works pretty well. Um, if it doesn't, then you can always try clone. Um, you can see there, clone has changed the, uh, changed the color tones, whereas heel will not. It will try and match it as, as best it can. Um, and literally, that, that's it. So that's if we just click the, uh, the spot removal tool again, there we go. There's that blemish. Oops, sorry about that. There's that blemish. Um, absolutely gone. Now, let's have a look at this, uh, at this stud here. Now, I don't particularly mind that stud there, but... Um, Let's just uh, make our, our mark just a little bit bigger than the stud and click on it and we'll notice straight away it finds another area. We don't need to change any of these settings. Click away and that stud has absolutely gone. And you can see now that um, if we look at the before and after there, just by pressing the Y key, we can see that with, with, with seconds of work, um, that stud has gone. Now, I think the reason why that stud was causing me just a little bit of, um, of concern was because actually uh, this image is all about symmetry. Uh, if you notice that we've got the symmetry of a face, uh, even the nose ring there, and the tattoos on the hands, the hands themselves, the hair coming down both sides, it's a very symmetrical image. And that stud just being plonked on the side 
it, it could work, but it didn't quite work for me. But what we could do, let's just click on, uh, on that ring and let's just delete it. So we've got it back. Another use of this, um, of this tool, if I just zoom into a face there, um, is you can copy things. So if we wanted to put another stud over here, we could just do it in reverse. We could say heal this area, which there's nothing wrong with that area. There we go. And then we could take this mark and put it over the stud. I probably want to make that a bit smaller. There we go. Let's drop the size just a touch. Oh, maybe we were right before actually, to be fair. Oh, oh, oh too big and you get into the, into the lipstick. There we go. Now that still doesn't look half bad, to be fair. You, you can just see a little bit around the edge. Maybe you might want a little bit of tidying up, but uh, you know, all of a sudden you've uh, you've replicated that that stood to one side from one side to your side, and it, it, it doesn't look too bad. It's not for me. Um, I think I prefer this image um, without without the stud at all. So I'm just going to um, get rid of it like that. And just move that down a touch, and uh, there we go. She's done. So that's uh, the spot removal tool, a really, really simple tool. Now, with that ring that we were using, you can, we'll try and demonstrate it somewhere on here. It doesn't work awfully well and I don't like it, but uh, we'll try and sort of work that, that crease there. We want to keep that crease actually, but I'm just going to use it as a demonstration. If I make my mouse just a little bit smaller and maybe give it a little bit more feather, um, what I can do is rather than just use a ring, I can go around and follow an area and it will do exactly the same it'll find another area um, that looks very similar and uh, if I hit enter then it will it will take that that away now if we just go on to Y we can see the crease is there and it's gone from here that's kind of the limitation for for um, the tool in Lightroom I wouldn't do anything much more complicated than that it does struggle a little bit when you get complex areas um, but that's probably about as far as I would go. Uh, but it does work and it does work really well. Um, to be fair, uh, if I just go back into it, I would want to keep that little crease because it just it just makes her smile just a little bit more, um, or just her face just a little bit more um, happy, I think, because it's just got those creases around the, around the lips, which kind of makes it a little bit more human. So that's how to use the spot removal tool. And uh, I think you'll agree it's a, it's a really simple tool to use and uh, any blemishes on a, on a face and that is the easiest way to get rid of them. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that video. It was really quite short. It's a really quite simple tool, um, but it is very effective. Anything more complicated than what we've looked at today, I will probably go into, into Photoshop and do it in there. But for really simple, quick, quick clicks and spots and blemishes and and little things like that, it's absolutely perfect. If you've enjoyed this video, please, you know, leave a comment down below, give us a thumbs up, because um, it'd be great to, uh, to engage with you and have that conversation online. And uh, if you'd like to be notified of uh, any future videos that we do, down there, left-hand side, or right-hand side as you're looking at it, my left is uh, a subscribe button. Just give it a click and, uh, and follow us here at Chorley Photographic Society. Until next time, Thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you later.